All right, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of people like the Brave Battle video of Sajin. So I decided maybe I'll do a video trying to go over everyone on the team. And from what I've seen and what I've seen people say, this should be the best team in the game. Uh, now, do I have the best links and the T20 abilities? Probably not. Maybe anybody in higher leagues can let me know what people are using up there. Because you can only see the team. You can't see the abilities and whatnot. Um... But yeah, we're gonna be using Orihime, Sergeant, and Chad. And do note, my entire team is either one or two out of five, being Chad. Been almost two years, and I've only pulled him twice. I literally pulled him for the first time, like right before Orihime drop. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what team you guys are using. Um, I highly recommend staying at at least seven seat for extreme co-op if you're somewhat new. Uh, but yeah, this is the team I'm going to be rocking, or he may try to go full attack, you know, Chappy, Golden Chappy, and then the attack item, uh, and then I have or he may for damage taken minus 21%, uh, and then I have damage taken minus 20, and Nad on Kensei, uh, and then I don't believe I had no another, uh, damage DR by 20% with any extra damage, so I just went, uh, damage taken minus 16 plus normal attack damage. She is 1-5, and I go low stam, and I just recently started to use attack. Gonna see how that goes. I did have dodge before, but only a 50% dodge. It just didn't feel like it was doing that much. Maybe pierce barrier would be good, but I feel like I don't run into enough enemies with pierce barrier. I see it as a pretty common one, though. I guess all, like, two of them use. Like, that one is all attack and low stam, and I think this is... Uh, oh, okay. May maybe not. Maybe this one. This is what I saw. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and then we have Chad. This is Sajin. Sajin with a golden chappy with defense and a regular chappy with defense. Electric guitar with defense and then DR uh, as much as possible. Only 1-5. Dodge and low stam. Uh, I don't want to give him defense because defense, I believe on the T20 ability, doesn't scale that well. So, and he's, I would like him to do somewhat, some, some damage. Uh, but he's going to be like the main stick in this because he's going to be able to disable yuha and yama essentially since he it makes us so they can't buff or debuff and then it also meninas soul bomb doesn't uh inflict the weakening on the stat lower um now we're gonna be using and then we're also gonna be using chad with uh 30 defense on the golden chappy 30 defense on the regular chappy and then the shahoin shield with 30 defense mainly to go against orihime because she's like the only ranged character in the meta if i'm not mistaken uh and then we have a little bit more dodge and dr 20 dr and then another 20 dr 2-5 attack and defense with dodge and uh more defense because his damage is whatever i i'm i'm really thinking i should just remove his attack and give him stamina but Anyways, at the moment, we're only at 33,000 stats, so let's just start off small. Uh, but seeing this guy's build, I feel like we should beat him, but at this point, who knows? Uh, I feel like a very good counter to Sajin is unironically Orihime, uh, and then Sajin is a very, very good counter to Yuha, and oh, he's 5'5 five, five too. Making defense, that was crazy. I guess if you get the Soul Bomb off, maybe, uh, but to Yuha and Yama. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm running the attack strategy. I've been finding it works fairly well, uh, but also the special one isn't too bad either, but alright, let's see. Okay, nothing so far, looks like they're just being super tanky. Sajin took a huge hit to the bottom, Yuha is absolutely cooked, Sajin's already into her, his persistence. Oh my god, they are, they, they slaughtered them, they slaughtered them. I mean, we, we, we did very good this time, we did very, very good. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, Chad is not here to do damage. He is here to literally just shield and tank and be an absolute goat. He has carried me uh, into the Lieutenant's League, you know, against big, scary Orihimes. So uh, let's try to go up a little bit. Uh, this one is at 40k. Max transcended Ishin, dodge and attack full. Oh, a little bit of defense. Uh, okay, some tanky links. Max inside of the, ooh, Max inside of Yuha is kind of scary, and then we have, ooh, I, this is the first one I've seen, Last Ditch Captain's Coat, okay, he is a pretty good, uh, pretty good Sajin, but, uh, I feel like this would be the best strategy we could go for, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's try it out, I will be wasting orbs, so hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, definitely appreciate it, and let me know if you want to see a Yama gameplay, because I just got, recently got him 4-5, I can invest him in, invest in him a little bit, um, but okay, so hopefully, unfortunately, Chad is fighting a melee character, so that's kind of unfortunate, but Sajin is still getting absolutely roasted down below. Yuha is still getting absolutely toasted. Last trade is going to be kind of annoying, but yeah, I mean, 
he, they didn't have a persistence character besides Sajin, and we had two, but like neither of them went into persistence, which is kind of crazy. Like I'm very surprised that Sajin didn't get absolutely smoked. Uh, but to be fair, it's because we have the boost and there's no one disabling Chad's boost, which is why Chad is the best booster in the entire game. And then I guess Tsukishima. Tsukishima is also pretty good. Uh, I've been beaten by a max and Sun Tsuki before. Um, let's go against this. 1-5 Yama, 4-5 Meninas, and 2-5 Orihime. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I would probably do something along the lines of this. What would this is Yama? Attack, barrier, attack, defense, attack. Okay. Let's see how Calvin fares. Let's see what Calvin can pull off. Uh, but yeah, I, I would be interested to, you know, try out a Yama team uh, with Yuha. Just try it out a little bit. See how uh, the meta goes if you don't have Sajin. It looks like... It looked like I was getting absolutely roasted, but thankfully, uh, we did end up fighting back and killing that Yama, which is very nice. Uh, hopefully, we can get his or he made into persistence before ours. If we do, thank goodness, dodges. Chad was dodging. He was tanking all those hits, and he allowed us to come back and win. That was actually very close. The Meninas roasted Sajin alive, I'm not going to lie. It looks like he got absolutely folded. Because it is unfortunate. Like, yeah, we can disable the Meninas' Soul Bomb debuff, but... It's not that great. Like, they're, they kind of just, like, cancel each other out, which is kind of unfortunate. So I'm just kind of, like, throwing a character away. Because I can't throw him at Orihime because he dies every single time. Um, okay, a 3-5 Meninas. I think Meninas is, like, my biggest, like, hindrance here. Uh, especially if they have Sajin, which they do. They have a triple Persistence team. This is a, oh, my days, a 4-5. A 4-5. This is going to be interesting. I mean, I could do Sajin v. Sajin and then Meninas against uh, Orihime. I could try that. See how that fares. Granted, I feel like my Sajin only being 1-5 versus a 3 or 4-5 Sajin, whatever that was. Might cook me a little bit. I just feel like Orihime does better against Meninas, but it looks like I might have been- my, How did my Sajin win that at the bottom? I guess I have an actual boost and they don't have a boost. I assume that that's why. Also, I wish we could skip Soul Bombs on this. WHAT HAPPENED TO MY CHAD?! Bro got nuked off the field. Was that- I, I, That might have been her Soul Bomb. That just one-shot my Chad. Bro did not dodge that. We, we we had that in the bag, and then Chad, like, stubbed his toe and died. <laughs> okay. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, let's try to find some Yuhas and Yamas, because obviously that's what, that's what Saj is made to counter. Uh, a 49k team, 3-5, probably 5-5 five, five and 5-5. Five, five. 4 5 okay. I mean, it looks like he has a pretty good build. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if he can tank this... Orihime. This Orihime looks like she's going to be kind of a monster. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Unfortunately, that last one just we, we got folded at the very end. Because, like, my Persistence units only being 1-5, mainly going for attack. They just kind of get stomped. It's very unfortunate. Okay. No, oh, y Yama got obliterated. Ishin is dead. Is oh, my God. This was surprisingly very easy. I guess because my Chad is in the middle... What the hell was that? Because my Chad's in the middle, he boosted, and I believe he can hit both of them there. Uh. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. They all spawned in the corner. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, cut to the next match, but that's kind of funny. Alright, we're back after the debacle. Now we have a Max Transcended. Uh, Yuha, Dodge, Pierce Barrier. Okay. Full defense with attack. I don't know if you want to go defense with attack, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. Full DR, 20%. Fair enough. Sajin, only 1-5. And then Orihime is 3-5. Okay. Uh, so I would probably do this. And let's see how we can do. He wouldn't have a booster, but he does have two persistence characters. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see. It's probably going to rely on Chad dodging a lot. If I had to guess, he had the special as well. Sajin was taking a bit of damage, but it just kind of stopped. Ooh, Sajin or Himi up top. Bro, kill Yuha, kill Yuha, kill Yuha. How is Yuha not dead? That's actually absurd that Yuha didn't die. Are you serious, bro? Okay. That's that's actually super obnoxious that Orihime and Sajin somehow did not kill Yuha. Hopefully I wasn't calling him Yama the entire time. I might have been. 
I kind of want to go against this team. Probably like this. I, I'm actually tilted by that last battle. Like, I feel like we should have won. Like, especially the other one where, where Chad just got wiped off the field, but then something just happened that I missed. I, I just didn't see what one shot him. Um, Chad just took a beating right there. That's like half his HP gone. Or he is doing nothing. And then both the side characters drop and we win. It literally looked like we were about to lose because Chad and Orihime started losing a bunch of HP and then we come back and literally just like slapped up their two sides. I don't understand how it makes sense. How does that even happen? I don't even know how many more I'm going to be doing, but you know, um, we got a 45k down here. What's this? Matt, oh my god, an Omega Whale. I am tempted. I want to try it. I want to try it. If we win, this will be the final one. If not, we'll do one more. If not, we'll do one more slightly around our pile level. Not, 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 nothing crazy. But the match in Senator Orihime is kind of terrifying, not going to lie. But Chad just needs to keep dodging. Just keep on being an absolute goat. Just keep on dodging. Orihime killed Sajin. That's a good thing. Yuha is very, very low. And Yuha is down for the count. That's huge. Sajin is in persistence. Man! Sajin's been letting me down. Him being 1-5. But it was very close. It, it was close. We got down to just Orihime. But yeah. the uh, I think she got the soul bomb. And that's what sealed it. Because that one shot by Orihime from afar. And got Sajin into persistence. And then they just one shot him. Which is pretty unfortunate. But I mean for a full 1-5. And then a 2-5 Chad. Which is basically like a 0-5 unit. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Can we get someone around R? rank but like I'm, i just kind of want to find a yuha or yama team around ours 36k we could do something like this yeah M match and send and you have that little of stats are you serious uh okay let's see if we can take on a match and send yuha for the final run unless we lose then we're gonna go again because <laughs> i haven't taken out any matches i just want to see how we can go because this team is good it's just you know my idiocy in Braid Battles is un is uncontested. I mean, innocent and persistence? Yuha should die here, but he just hasn't taken any damage. B bro has taken no damage for 45 seconds. How does that make any sense, bro? Thankfully, we got the soul bomb there. Chad pro propped persistence, or he may have still cooking. Bro, that Yuha unironically almost sold our entire team. He lived for so long. Like, he got below the 50% HP, and then, like, two people died. I wonder. Because of his skill, this is, I'm not going to do any more matches, but this skill right here. Um, increased normal attack damage. Oh, it's just damage. Never mind. I thought he got tankier after each kill. I was going to say, imagine if an enemy goes into persistence. Would you get more resistance? But it was, it was only attack, so never mind. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, once he proc this, he just took like literally no damage. It's cr crazy, crazy. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. I think that this is the best team in the game. It's just that you know my links aren't the best. There's probably a better setup. Uh, but these are the best three characters in Brave Battles. You could probably swap out Sajin. N no, would you though? Because Chad is the best booster, obviously. Because Sajin doesn't disable Yuha, uh, or he doesn't disable Chad. He disables Yuha and Yama uh, and Meninas's. Be debuff and buff or him is still the best pvp character and then sajin i mean disables yuha and yama which is why he's here otherwise you'd probably put meninas um but yeah let me know down below what you guys think i think this is the best brave battle team who knows maybe i'm wrong hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of brave battles and if you want to see a yama team you can and i also have a jugram maxim center jugram actually with three-star defense i could potentially do that video i think people are actually liking brave battles which is crazy every time i Talk about Brave Battles and stream, people hate it, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, take care, peace out, and have an absolutely amazing day.